good morning. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back at Everdeen. It is very exciting to be here. I feel like it's been so long. In reality, it's been about two months, but it just feels like it's been eternity. Uh, because like I said in the last couple of videos, uh, as a circus artist, I just have so many contracts and shows in the winter that I just haven't had any time to run back here. But this week, I have a whole three days, which feels very exciting, even though it's only three days. It's great because I can come back, I can kind of check up on the house because even though I know things are probably fine, it just makes me feel better to know there's not any problems, there's not like a leak or anything. Uh, and I also can try to get a few things done. So I'm going to try to push through and do as much work as I can in the next three days. Um, I'm also a little bit sniffly, like I'm not really sick, I'm just kind of not really my best. So um, I'm going to push through it. I'm going to, we're going to, we're not going to be held back by the sniffles. The first thing I'm going to do is run into town because last night I arrived uh, and there was literally no food here and I ate some some leftover soup that Laurent had sent with me and it was a bit sad and so today I need to go to the grocery store, I need to go to the hardware store for a few little things. I would like to work on the shower more this week and uh hopefully get to the point where we can start putting grout. So we need to buy some grout. I also need to run to the furniture shop because we need an extra mattress. There is one bed in the yellow bedroom that does not have any mattress right now. And it's the winter sales. So I'm hoping that the furniture shop will have like a good deal on a mattress for that bed. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. Ugh, oh, look at that. I've missed that view. And this week, uh, well, this week, the next two days, <laughs> It's supposed to be 16 degrees Celsius, which is about 61 degrees Fahrenheit, and I am so down for that. Well, I've done it again. I've forgotten that everything in, in France closes for lunch. So I'm at the, the shop that I wanted to look at the mattresses, but it is... 12.45 and it's closed for lunch and uh, I imagine the antique store is too. I, I'm just going to look on Google Maps to double check the hours but I'm pretty sure they're going to be closed for lunch as well. I did get my groceries. Yay! Food! And I guess that now I will, I guess, head back. <laughs> um, if I'm going to have to come into town another day because I don't want to wait until two o'clock when things reopen from lunch um then I might as well go to the hardware store another day and make that all like one trip so I guess I'm gonna head back now um quickly eat some of the food that I just bought and get to work and see how much I can get done today okay so on the way home I treated myself to like a little drive around the back of the village because it's, it's so pretty outside. Oh, there's a robin! Wait, let me see if I can film him. Look at that little robin! Hi! That's exactly like the robin. In fact, it may be the same robin that came inside the house one morning and startled me so much when I woke up and saw him watching me. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the other thing that I saw on this little drive. There's a gorgeous chateau back there. I had no idea. There's just a chateau on every corner here. It's ridiculous. Okay, I am back home. I had lunch. I'm ready to start some projects. And the first one that I want to get a jump on is this. <laughs> um, even though it is so warm outside this week, it's still getting pretty chilly at night. And last night I was definitely feeling it. So I think a big part of why I'm feeling it so much in the bedroom is because this hole in the wall is just letting all the heat out. <laughs> so my plan is to close up that hole the same way that I closed up the ventilation vent holes in the doors. You can see that one there. Um, I haven't painted those yet, but we'll get to that at some point. Uh, basically, this is where a vent used to be in the wall. And when we took it out, it left this big hole and all the cold air is coming in through that hole. And I don't like it, so we're gonna try to, where's my stuff? Here's my stuff. Uh, we're gonna try to take some drywall and I'll put, it's the, the thickness of the wall, so I have to put two kind of like this and then putty them into the hole and then hopefully that will seal it up and it will be warmer in this room. The other thing I'm gonna do today is put a carpet in this room. <laughs> 
so that is my master plan. Um, we'll see how it goes. It was it was actually pretty straightforward doing it in the doors, but I feel like this is going to be a lot harder. Here we go. Here's the, the creepy bedroom peephole we need to fill. The thing I'm worried about is this kind of area where it's just, it's not a square or a rectangle like it was in the doors. But let's try it. I'm going to tape up this against the wall so it stays in place. And I'm going to use a pencil from the other side to trace the exact size of the hole onto this. Here's what we've learned today. Masking tape does not want to stick to putty. I'm going to move fast and hopefully this will stay up long enough for me to do my pencil tracing. Stay. Stay. I've got both of my shapes traced onto the plaster. So now I'm going to go outside in the garden and try to cut this out. Look at that. I mean, it's not it's not that beautiful, I'll, I'll say that, but it is closed and it seems to be staying in place. Um, I know the putty has like a bunch of holes in it, but what I'm going to do, because I tried to smooth it out as best as possible and this was like the best I could do for the moment, but what I'm going to do is wait till it dries, sand it down, and then fill in the holes with a bit more putty, let that dry and sand again to make it nice and smooth. The other side went slightly smoother. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, that side came out pretty good. I just need to do some sanding. Um, this side's going to be behind wallpaper. It's going to have a mural like this one over it. So it just needs to be like relatively flat. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then this side, because unfortunately this hole was right in the middle of the antique wallpaper. Um, this wallpaper that we discovered when we took down the wallpaper in the living room, that this is all hand-painted wallpaper. Um, there's a, there was a reference on the one in the living room that we took down that let us know that this is hand-painted wallpaper from the 1920s. Uh, unfortunately, that panel of it's going to have to go because there's a big white bit in the middle of it. But what I'm thinking is that I can um, just paint that off white like the door and that it will make the door look much taller. Uh, and I might do some kind of little mural on the top, like a little vine or some flowers or something. Anyway, I'm going to call this one completed. And while I was on my winterizing kick, I added this rug into my bedroom. I was thinking a rug that was more of like a, a light color with a darker pattern, um, like a white base with like a pattern over it. And I just grabbed this rug from downstairs to put in here. Um just because it was the right size and easy to do and that will help warm things up. But to be honest, I think I quite like it. Um, if I if I show you like the border of this rug, it's almost the same color. Oh, there's a bobby pin. Nice. Um, it's almost the same color as the curtains and the bed and the bedspread, the duvet cover. So yeah, even though it's not uh, my original thoughts 
on a color scheme. I quite like it in here. Let me just show you also. When I say it's chilly at night, what I mean is I slept last night under duvet, second duvet, thick blanket, and curled around my like boiling hot, hot water bottle. And I was still cold. So yeah, hopefully the rug here and the lack of giant hole in the wall will do the trick and warm things up. So that's one project done, ticked off the list. Uh, and I think I'm gonna call that quite a lot of progress because if I'm warmer at night, I will be much happier. <laughs> Um, it is now 5.15, it's starting to get dark, and you know what darkness means. It means it's time to move into the shower room to work on the tiles, because basically, like, I'm trying to film things that look nicer in the light when it is light, uh, and the shower room has no light at any time, so let's go to the shower room and tile. <laughs> I've changed into some clothes that I can destroy with, with tiling. Um, and I've come outside because there's just enough light to mix up the glue outside where it's actually slightly warmer than inside the house. But I don't feel confident mixing up the glue. So I've called in some special help. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Walking in a red from Paris. So um, what do I do? Well, now you should uh, mix a small quantity of glue, I think, uh, okay. so it doesn't dry. As you're working by yourself, it doesn't dry while you're doing all the cuts and all that. All right, so I've got in here, so, I've got a, a one liter empty water bottle. I've got my, uh, what do you call it? It's not glue, it's uh the Cement? No. Maybe it's cement. I don't know. Tile glue. It's tile glue and I've got a big bag of it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. If you pour one and a half liter, liter of water and then you add some powder until it's a good consistency. Uh, what if I don't know what a good consistency is? It's just like uh, warm Nutella. Okay, I do know what that is. You've, you've hit exactly something that I know. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try. Uh, okay. When you pull the when you pull the the mixer out, you should have like some uh, creamy points. Yeah. It, it shouldn't stay down. You you really explained and it very clearly when you said warm Nutella. <laughs> that was all the instruction that I needed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna mix and uh, see how it goes. Okay. this Nutella like enough? Oh, I think there's dirt in it now. Great, I just put a leaf in it. This 
Nutella? I don't know. That seems thicker than Nutella. That's like Nutella that's in the fridge. I think, I think I've been lied to by a sneaky Laurent. That's not Nutella. <laughs> um, comment below if your Nutella is this consistency because I think it is not. I am diving in on the shower. So I'll show you where we left off last time. This is where we left off on the shower. So this side is almost done. We just need a few white tiles at the top. This side's about half done and this side's maybe, let's say a quarter done. Yeah, so there's still quite a lot to do up there. Um, I also protected the shower, um, what do you call it? Shower tray? Is it a shower tray? This is another word that's just left my brain in English. Um, with some plastic and some supermarket publicity booklet papers. <laughs> and then I've got my glue and I've protected the floor out here with some plastic. So I think I am ready to get going. say I'm starting to get really tired <laughs> oh I was hoping I, well part of me that's like very unrealistic was hoping to finish this tonight I don't think that's gonna happen uh, I do have quite a lot of the paste left so <laughs> we do need to finish up the paste tonight but I am dragging I'm getting tired and also <laughs> very related to this shower, I'm also starting to really think about how I'm going to have to go down to the freezing, freezing cold bathroom downstairs and take a bath and like that is my only option tonight. God, I want this shower to be finished. <laughs> ah! Almost midnight. I've been doing this, I think since the beginning of time. I think there was never a time when I was not tiling this shower. I think that I've been doing this since the beginning. I will be doing it till the end of time. There is no life other than tile life. Tiles are my god now. Uh, but I have finished for the night. Uh, it's so dramatic, but it feels equally as dramatic as I just was. <laughs> oh God. Um, but yes, I finished tiling for the night because I, I used up all the glue that I made, which was my goal. And uh, I have finished this back wall right here, except for that bit at the top, of course, but the the main part of the wall is, is finished. So that leaves only this third side, only the green part to get done tomorrow. Well, I guess I could start on the white part on the top as well. We'll see how things go. But tomorrow is meant to be very warm and nice outside. So I really want to do an outdoor project. Um, I've got an outdoor project in mind. I need to run to the hardware store in the morning before I can start that outdoor project. But uh, maybe what I'll try to do is outdoor projects during the day. And then this again, once it starts to get uh, dark in the afternoon and I lose the light. It would be really nice to finish this tomorrow. And then maybe, maybe I could have a shower before I have to leave on Friday. That's the dream. The dream is shower. Uh, however, that is not the dream for tonight because I have to go run and bath downstairs now. So definitely bedtime for this this little tile. I can't even think of a good like funny name for myself. I'm just a tile automaton now. Tile bot. 
tile-centric. I don't know. I can't. My brain is dead. There's only tiles now. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go to bed and uh, we will pick this up with the next video. Um, but in the meantime, please do take a moment to subscribe and to like this video and to like other videos on the channel because um, if, if you like and subscribe, YouTube will catch on to uh, that you want to see more stuff like this and it will send you more stuff like this. Uh, and also it would really help me out quite a lot because it um, helps the channel grow and it shows me that you guys like what I'm doing, which is uh, very, very motivational in times like these where I'm like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> God, I close my eyes and I see dials. I have to go to bed. I will see you guys next time. Good night.